everybody, it's Joy, and I'm with Georgia Sewing and Quilting. I'm so glad to see you all today. So I wanted to show you a few things. Today we've got some cool panels that I wanted to show you for Halloween. So I know it's almost that time, and if you want to make a quick project, a panel is a great way to do it. Look how cute this is. So I'll kind of cover up, and you can see. Some of that the other day, I was thinking. So you can have it like that, or you can even cut a panel up. Don't be afraid to do that. It's totally okay. You know, look at those cute pictures though. So you could do something like cut out this area, you know, and then put your own borders on it. So even though it's a panel, use the cute pictures the way that you want to use them. We also have this cute one. Look at this. Haunted house, love Halloween. So let me show you. Haunted house one. Oop. So we have that. Isn't that fun? So just adding some sides to it and you've got a quick little quilt gift or wall hanging, whatever you want to do. All right, so let's take a look at some other cute things. I was looking around the shop and I found this awesome fabric. Look at the shine on this. This is really cool. I hope it's kind of showing it. I'm mesmerized by this fabric, but this fabric is really neat because even though it's perfect for Halloween and you can match it with those panels, this is another cute one. It's candy corn. Look at that. But anyway, you can match these and then this is another really cute one. Look at that. So these are all cool colors, but there's another option. You may come, uh, come across a pattern like this and think okay totally Halloween because it's Halloween almost but you don't have to just use it for that buy some extra and let me show you if you pair it with some Christmas fabrics oh, I had a better one hold on I like pulled all the fabric in the shop out today to show you this but if you put a fun fabric like that with a white and then maybe let me turn this around so it looks better then maybe a good uh, red print. You've got like a Santa suit, you know? So that's kind of fun. Yeah. But when we're just talking back about Halloween, let's look with a different red. So I showed you, uh, sorry, I have really piled this fabric up today. I showed you a brighter red a minute ago, or I meant to anyway. <laughs> okay, I'll get it back out. But this one is perfect for a vampire, right? And use it with this black. And we have other, whoa, we got this other cool black. If you really just want to go like full on Halloween, look at that. See, that one's got a lot of shine too. Now this one, I wouldn't even be suggesting you mix it in with Christmas, you know, unless you wanted to. It's got like a glitter to it but this is kind of spider web like so i think that one's fun but you're like full-on vampire here then i'm going to pick that other one back up with a different red hold on this is me like taking all the fabric down now now you're santa like okay a little bit more with the white your total santa suit cute well, I also wanted to show you some fun stuff we have. We found more glittery fabric. So this, perfect again for um, Christmas. We also have it in white and the fun green. You wanna do trees and have them really sparkle? Here's a good way to do it, you know? All right, other things we have in the shop right now wool let me show you this did you know we carry wool it's in the back if you come in so let's let me pull it all out cool wool products for all of you guys ladies men people who do wool projects lots of cool colors and by cool i mean you know awesome but look at that so many of them here's some good fall colors 
There we go. Lots of those also thread to go with it, so don't forget your thread. And patterns. Let's see if I can get this one where you can see it. My light is catching it. There we go. Isn't that cute? My mother-in-law loves these birds. She loves to do this with uh, wool. So this is a great pattern that we have. All right. Let's see. Another thing I wanted to talk about today is in another, I believe, week, uh, maybe it's two weeks, Frank will be in to do the uh, sewing machine and uh, scissor sharpening. Sorry, mine just totally forgot what I was trying to say. He comes in twice a month. So be sure to come and bring in your machines and all the things that you need sharpened and fixed for Frank. He usually gets stuff done same day. He tries to get it back to you quickly unless he has to send out for a part or something like that. And that might take more time. I want to show you something else. This is a thing that I think is super important. I know you've seen them. Rotary cutters. But for one second, can we just talk about rotary cutter safety? <laughs> because... I've nearly just been sawed off by people who are not paying attention to using a rotary cutter. That's extreme. I'm kidding. But nonetheless, when you're using these, please remember, if you push the little red button, you can click it closed. Okay, and then somebody can't come by and squeeze it and accidentally cut something, or you don't drop it on the floor, you know? We have another one. This one was new to me, but I'm sure it's not new to everybody. But I always use these ergonomic ones. Oops, sorry, I turned it the wrong way. I use these ergonomic ones, but of course we have these straight up and down ones. And I was new to the ones that open like, well, hold on, I can't do it backwards. I still can't do it. Okay, there we go. <laughs> they open like that, you know, and then you just roll it. So if you have one like this, please pay attention and close it so you don't cut somebody up because nobody likes that. And in case you don't know there are smaller ones and larger ones i believe this is the 60 millimeter it says so right on that sorry i'm reading it so you've got big brother smaller one for ergonomics and we i think sorry i'm looking over there trying to check what we have in the shop but um keep your eye out for some in the shop um, i want to look at them they're over here on the wall but if i turn away you know this is video so that's also weird but uh rotary cutter safety super important oh frank the sewing machine repairman will be at the shop on october the 7th and the 21st he's here on the first and third wednesday of each month and i'm reading that because someone left me that message so bring it in and frank will take care of it he's great i um have people bringing machines in all the time in getting ready for him they're always super pleased you know when they get him back i know that some shops unfortunately have been out of you know their their repairman's super backed up and i mean that's great for their repairman glad but when it's your machine you kind of want it back a little sooner so bring your machine in here and frank will do his best to get it back to you super fast okay i know a lot of people have been coming in they've been really pleased with that service so we have that also i wanted to point out sorry i'm looking down again i have a giveaway look at these cute little guys these are little threads and for anybody who would like to answer a quick question well, it's actually not much of a question i just want your opinion tell me what fabric line you're most excited about that is either coming or maybe it's your favorite one forever actually you know what i'd really like to know you can leave me either comment but i want to know what your favorite upcoming fabric line is because that might be something cool we can get in the shop it might be on the way and i'd like to be able to tell you about it and let you know you know if we have it if it's coming and also you never know it might be something we can bring in if enough people are excited about it if it's not something we already have you never know so oh yeah tulip pink right right i'm with you sheila i love tulip pink she actually has a new line coming out and though i can't think of the name of it and you might sheila if you know it tell me but um 
That new Tula pink one is really cool. It is like black and white and has other, it's mostly black and white. Um, the one that I'm telling you about. Uh, so black and white lines, a lot of her drawings with very little color, which is really a deviation for Tula. She mostly is about color. And I don't know if any of you guys know it. Yep, Pat from Tula Pink, that's right. Anyway, I don't know if you guys know, but Tula used to be um, a album cover designer. And she designed album covers for Snoop Dogg. I was trying to remember who it was, for Snoop Dogg. She worked in LA and that's what she did. And she actually kept her sewing, quilt, or her quilting on the down low. She was embarrassed for anyone to find out she did that because she was, <laughs> she was sharing, you know, all her tough designs and all that uh, for the album covers. And she did not want everybody to kind of think she was just quilting, you know, but quilting as Tula has let us all know can be very bold. Her colors are as bright as this shirt, you know, that's, that's how she is. So that's what I love about quilting and why I hope you'll come into the shop and check out what we have because it's really what you want it to be. You know, you can make whatever colors, just like I was showing you, you may not love this Halloween idea that I had where you could mix it and make it look like a Santa suit with this red, wherever I put it anyway, but you can come up with something that maybe will inspire others. And that's what's so awesome about the whole thing. Every time I'm in here, I'm inspired by the customers who come in. I'm just showing you this because I like stripes. Some people hate stripes, right? <laughs> I like them. They're fun. We have a great, wish I could point, I will show it to you in a minute, but we have some great uh, striped patterns and things like that that use, you know, these or whatever. Anyway, I'm getting off topic. Nonetheless, keep doing your creative stuff, you know? I'm seeing so many Tula pink comments about people who'd like to um, have that in the shop and to see more of that. And I hope we can bring more in. I know we have some on the way. I'm pretty excited about it. You can tell I'm a Tula fan. Uh, or The reason I knew that stuff about her is because I went and heard her speak and she is an amazing speaker. If you get a chance to go listen to her in person, she's just so cool. She's as cool as you think she'd be. But she's, she's super nice, you know, so I like that. And, and you can tell that if you go and follow her at all. So this is what I'm giving away. Leave a comment. I don't know if you can tell because of the light, but it's um, gray and white. Anyway, so sorry about that. And we tied these. Me and Miss Betty tied all these together, so they're cute. Anyway, hey, Juliana, how's it going? <laughs> anyway, so um, if you guys want to leave a little message and tell us about your favorite uh, fabric line, then we'll pick, actually we'll pick two winners this week. We'll pick two winners. And the thing is, the way we're gonna pick you guys is we're gonna see, uh, we'll pick like the third and the, I don't know, I'll roll some dice or something. No dice, well, we wouldn't have enough people. I, I don't know how I'll do it. We're gonna just pick randomly uh, according to how people uh, came in on our list. I'll let Carolyn, Car my friend Carolyn who works here, she's awesome. So if you get a chance, come in and say hello to Carolyn. Hello. <laughs> That's her just making some random noise over here. She's wearing a mask as she should be. And the only reason I'm not is because I'm doing this Facebook Live right now and I'm just standing over here by myself. So don't worry about that. When you come into the shop, we're masked up. So don't worry. I don't want you to feel bad about it. I'm going to have to cut this Facebook Live short because we have customers in here and they would like to buy things. So I hope you will all come in and buy things. Um, let's see, wait one second. Do we have a nine patch a day project info sheet? No, I don't think we have that nine patch a day project info sheet. You know about that? I'm asking Carolyn. Hold on. <laughs> do you know, do we have a nine patch a day project info sheet. Um, I don't know anything about that, but I'll look into it. Hey, will you bring me some of those little pattern cards? I'll show those. Okay. Diane, I don't know about that. Um, I'll look into it. Carolyn and I are going to look into it, but yeah, Diane loves them and the Robert Diane Kaufman knows. fabric line. Robert Kaufman's awesome. We have these little postcard patterns. They're new. And they're new. This that one's, one's new. This is a new one. And that's a new one. And if you guys are slow 
quilter like I am, if you start now, you might be ready for the 4th of July. I don't know. I'm just kidding. I'm super slow quilter. Um, and then we have, this one's new too, these little projects. And what's nice about these, the reason they're so small, oh, I'm not supposed to show you the back, sorry. Um, the reason they're so small is because you know, they're, they're simple, simpler. Thank you for laughing at me. It is pretty funny when I'm doing what I don't mean to do. Um, and now I'm looking over there at them. We have a bunch. I'm gonna, let's see how many do we have. At checkout, we have 15 of them. So the cool thing about them is they're not very expensive. I mean, I think I'm reading the sign from across the room, even though I need glasses. Uh, they're $3.50 each. And the nice thing about them is that they make great little last minute gifts. So I know we have Christmas coming up and Hanukkah and all the many things. And you can even mail this to somebody. So like if you come in, uh, this is a great thing. You could just put it in a card to your friend. You know, I, I like that. So let them know you're thinking about them and plop it in a card. And then they've got a pattern. Pick up fabric, they'll be your best friend, right? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Carolyn is shaking her head at me like, what is up with you? <laughs> I don't know. This is just me, right? But anyway, Carolyn, how do you want to, I'm going to ask her. We didn't make a good plan on how I want to pick people for the giveaway. I was just saying these random numbers that made no sense. Uh, how should we do this? Carolyn's um, quick thoughts. <laughs> um, what should okay. we? Okay, um, person number one. Person number one. She just came out with a number. Okay. Um, and person has got to be more than number one. Okay. Go higher. Yeah. Um, and Random. Okay, the first person to come up with a number between um, one and ten. Oh, okay. Well, I'm just going to take your number. We're going to pick... Number one, I'm gonna go higher than that. I'm gonna say okay. number nine. Okay. One and nine responders. So the way I'm gonna do this is we're gonna pick the first and the ninth comment from all the people that commented. And um, it's gonna be, this is what's crazy, okay? Hey Chuck, that's my father-in-law there saying seven. Thank you, Chuck. Anyway, okay. Chuck, you're out, okay? We're related. You can't, you know, you're out. Anyway, feel free to continue to watch, Chuck, but since you're my father-in-law, you're not getting one of these for free. You can come in the shop and buy something, though. You know, we'll set you up. <laughs> okay, but, but what I'm telling you guys, we will go with, what did I say, one and nine? One and nine. And so from this list of numbers, that uh, I mean, list of comments, the way the comments look to you aren't the same way that they are on my screen. So I know that's ridiculous, but... That's the way that they are. Oh, here you go. I think somebody wanted to see that closer. Somebody wants to see all of our shadow play fabrics. So they're cool. You should come in and see them. So what we're going to do is we're going to contact the two winners. And if you live out of state, that's okay. We're going to send it to you. But if you're here, um, we'll also send it to you if you want us to. But if you come in to the shop and pick up your win, you get 10% off any purchase that you make. Okay. This is just for the winners, you guys. Don't everybody come in and ask for 10% off because I can't do that. I wish I could. That'd be cool. But anyway, so for winners, that. And we're going to do it again next week. So I'll have a better plan on how to pick winners. Anyway, you guys, it was such a pleasure being with you today. If there's anything that you want to see on the next Facebook Live, please let me know. And I'll put it on here. If you want to look at something special, maybe I can set the camera up somewhere else. Uh, send us a message through Facebook. We want to make this for you you know we want to show you what you want to see uh in the shop and all our new products and everything so let us know what we can do for you and give us a call at the shop uh anytime you need anything send us a facebook live messages our gmail account and all that good stuff uh, or certainly feel free to come in we're open Cheers. <laughs> you know like roll my eyes i can't remember tuesday through saturday right now from 10 a.m. in the morning until 4 o'clock in the afternoon. And we're all looking forward to helping you out. All right, you guys, that's it for today. And we'll contact you, all the winners. Okay? Bye, everybody.